Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two Schuyler Bibles, the ESV Traveris and the ESV Quintel. Okay, the release of Schuyler's ESV Traveris has got a lot of people talking. I did an unboxing video of this Bible. I did a full review. And one of the things that people mentioned in the comments or sent questions to me was asking questions about how the Traveris compared with a couple of other Bibles. And one of those Bibles was the Schuyler ESV Quintel. Now, same company, same translation, very different Bibles. The whole idea of these two Bibles is totally different. And so, yeah, I think it's good to know those differences. And what I'm going to do in this video is do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see how the Traveris stacks up against the Quintel. It's not one is better than the other, in my opinion. I think they're both great Bibles, but they do, um, they do things very differently. So your Bible reading experience with either one of these is going to be very different. I can, I can definitely justify in my mind owning both of these for two different types of Bible reading, two different types of Bible study. But I just want to be able to show you the difference. I'll probably grab a personal size Quintel. I don't think I have an ESV right now, but I have a PSQ that I'll show you as well just to see the size difference between all these Bibles. But that's the idea behind this video is just to do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the differences between both of these fantastic Bibles from Skylar Bibles. Before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got other Bible videos like this where I do reviews, but also comparison videos between some of the more popular Bibles out there. So check out my channel if you want to see more of those. But this video is the ESV Traveris versus the ESV Quintel. Okay, Traveris on the left, Quintel on the right. Now, I have, one of the first things you notice is that this one does not have the Jerusalem cross logo on the front. This is one of the runs they did without that. This is that really beautiful um, marbled mahogany calfskin that I have. Look at that crazy grain pattern on the back, how it kind of goes from really pebbly to more smooth. I love this Bible. Um, but most of the quintels are going to have that on the on the front. Here is a PSQ. I don't have an ESV, but this is an NIV right now. So you see, that's the goatskin look. So if I can get these all side by side, you see there, the 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 ESV Traveris only comes with a full yap, and so that is deceptive on how big it is. It's actually five and a half inches wide eight and a half inches tall, whereas, it, so it looks almost as big as the Quintel, but really the Quintel is six and an eighth inches wide and nine and an eighth inches tall. So it's over half an inch wider and half an inch taller. And then over here on the PSQ, you get four point, I think seven inches wide and about seven inches tall. So really they are stacked up. As I said to the folks at Skylar, if we could get this, this size, the five and a half by eight and a half, um, in a mid-sized Quintel, that would be fantastic to kind of complete the, the Quintel family. But um, that's the, the, the basic idea of the size. So they're, they're slightly different size. They're about the same, about the same thickness. I would say that the, the, um, the Traveris here on the left is actually slightly thicker than the Quintel. And you'll see why it is because when you do the single column format, it actually takes more space to do that. So overall, you get the same aesthetic features, raised spine hubs. If you had a similar goatskin, I think they make the ESV in a full yap. It would look very similar to this aesthetically. You get three ribbons on the Traveris. You get three ribbons on the, the um, Quintel. You've got, I like this feature on their full yap Bibles where they do the perimeter stitching and the tooled line. Um, again, if you had the ESV Quintel that was full yap, I'm sure it would have the same feature. The big difference is going to be on the inside. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to find a non-Psalms page. So I'm going to go to, here we go, first page of Nehemiah. Let me see if I can get both of these Bibles. I can't quite get them both in there. But I'm going to go to the first page of Nehemiah in this Bible as well. Ezra, Nehemiah is after Ezra, that's right, seminary graduate. Okay, so there you can see, let me just put this one over the top of this one, so you can see, obviously, two distinctly different Bibles. First things first, they both have similar GSM, uh, 28 GSM paper, so it's this thin 28 GSM, very opaque paper, so there's not a lot of bleed through. I love the paper that Skylar uses on their Bible. It's really great. You can see that they have the red under gold art gilding, the, the guild line on the inside. So very similar on some ways. But then when you look at the page, you're going, obviously, single column text versus a two column text. Slightly different fonts. This is the Milo font that they've been using for almost everything. And this is a different font that they're using in the Traveris. Somebody told me 
in one of the comments on my website or on my video review of this what this was and I wanted to verify that with Skylar but I haven't done it yet. Um, single column, double column. This one as you can see has no textual footnotes, no cross references. All of that comes at the bottom over here for, for the Quintel. They do have red accents on the page so you get like the drop caps here. That's one difference. This is the, the ornamental drop caps where this just has numbers but it's red um, on black, red texture, red red accents with the main black ink. But then the main difference you're going to see over here is that in the reader format, the Traveris has the, the chapter numbers and the verse numbers out here in the margin. So it's going to be on the left side margin of each page. So as you're going through, there are no verse numbers in the text. So when you're reading this, it's made for a more immersive reading experience because you read it and there's no verse numbers, there's no marks for cross-references or textual footnotes, it's just the text, and then there's a little bit of help out on the margin if you want to know where you're at as far as verse number, chapter number go. Whereas the Quintel is a traditional two-column reference Bible that has all of the textual footnotes, all of the verse numbers, everything kind of normal, standardized in there. So it creates a very different reading experience. So if you're thinking to yourself, okay, which Bible do I want from Skylar? Do I want a Traverius or do I want a Quintel? Again, if I just bring the PSQ over here, if you didn't know this, the PSQ is the mini-me version of the Quintel. So if I had the ESV PSQ, I would literally turn to page 587 and it would look exactly the same because it's the same format, right? So the question you have to ask yourself is, what am I going to be using this Bible for? Obviously, a single column Bible with verse numbers off to the side, no references, that's, that's created for you to kind of dive deep, to read. If you wanted to read the entire book of Nehemiah in one fell swoop right here, that would just take you a few minutes. You could read the whole story. This is a great Bible for doing that because there's not a bunch of extra stuff in the way. Whereas this Bible, two columns, lots of footnotes, lots of, uh, lots of cross-references, that sort of thing, it's going to make a great reading experience, but it's a little bit of a different one. And so this is probably a little bit better if you're like, hey, I need to go find verse number 9 in chapter 1. You can find that better. Whereas this one, you're going to have to kind of figure that out where it begins. So I would say that in, in my brain, the way that my brain works... If I wanted to do a little bit of studying and I wanted to, to focus on smaller sections of the text, I would be reaching more for the Quintel because I think it's built to do that. If I wanted to spend a little bit more, longer time just reading an entire book of the Bible or reading longer passages at a time, I would probably lean towards the Traveris because it's built to do that. So they really do complement each other well. You could have both of these in your Bible library and reach for them at different times. But that's, that's the way this works. Now, it's going to look a little bit more traditional in the um, poetic sections of the Trier of Errors because it does line breaks like poetry, but it's still single column, which I really, really like. Getting to the end of this, just to show you, the Traveris does come with a concordance. So it's got the more traditional stuff at the back of the Bible, and it's got a set of Schuyler's Bible maps. So you get the concordance and the maps. It is a, just to be sure, I don't know if it's different or not, two-column concordance. And then back at the back of the Quintel, we get a three column, slightly smaller concordance. It's probably fewer pages. And then the same Bible maps, a little bit larger. So overall, again, two columns, cross references, not verse by verse, it's paragraph format, um, textual notes, that sort of thing, versus a more, I call it a hybrid reader because a lot of readers get rid of the verses completely. This one, you still get the chapter numbers and the verse numbers, but you don't get any of the references and things, and everything is in a, a paragraph or verse-by-verse -verse format for the, 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 the um, poetic sections, but it's all there together. So they're just a different, a different experience all the way together, both beautifully made by Schuyler, but if you're, if you're looking for... To buy, if you're looking to buy one of these, that's what you need to know is that they are, they are different designs on the inside meant to complement one another in their lines. So you can get different things from Skylar, which is really cool. But um, I, if you're definitely looking for the immersive experience, that's what this is built for. If you're looking for a reference Bible that has more study tools and things like that, that's what the Quintel is built for. So there you have it. That's a side-by-side -side comparison of the ESV Quintel and the e that was the that was the Traveris I was pointing to the ESV Traveris and the ESV Quintel from Schuyler Bibles. These are both fantastic Bibles, but again, they do things very differently. So the big question here would be: If you could only pick one of these Bibles, and I'm going to make you choose, if you could only choose one, which one would it be? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Defend 
your decision, defend your choice, and feel free to comment on one another and tell them that you think they're crazy, but just do it in a nice way. We can, we can do comments on YouTube in a nice way. Imagine that. So that's, that's what I want you to do is answer that question. I'll definitely put a post about this on BibleReviewBlog.com that will lead you to more photos and full reviews of both of these Bibles, as well as links to where you can purchase one if that's what you're interested in doing. And you can find that information in the video description as well. Visit Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't already, and follow us there and, and join the party out there on social media. And once again, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This was a fun time. I, I enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.